What's more important than who you vote for on November 4th is uh, what you do uh, up until November 3rd and where you stand on November 5th. The reality is that whether McCain wins or Obama wins, uh, there is going to be an escalation of U.S. wars of aggression. Uh, Obama it has been aggressively uh, calling for an escalation of the war in Afghanistan. In fact, he criticized President Bush this week uh, for not doing enough in terms of sending troops into Afghanistan. Obama says 12,000 should be sent in right away, and that's what he's going to do. McCain has been echoing that. In fact, Obama has said that he started the trend, picked up by Bush and McCain, of calling for an escalation of the war in Afghanistan. Obama's Iraq plan, for instance, will keep in place 20 to 80,000 troops after he's done withdrawing. Uh, and, and he's going to continue to give major contracts to big war contractors. The reason I put all of this out in response to your question is because we have an actual opportunity between now and November 4th when the Obama campaign actually needs people. Uh, it was even more the case when Hillary Clinton was running against him. Now, I'm not a fan at all of Hillary Clinton's policies. I think she and her husband were responsible for some of the most belligerent policies, and she was a supporter of the war and a purporter of the, uh, and a pusher of the myth that Iraq had WMDs. But Obama needs people's money. He, he's in a dead tight race with uh, John McCain right now. He is now doing what the Democrats have done repeatedly during our lifetime. They run to the right, and then people say, well, they're going to govern to the left. Never has that happened. Bill Clinton didn't do it. John Kerry lost the election quite probably because of his running to the right. And so I think it's a matter of pressuring the Obama campaign to back off of these belligerent policies.